and there's Ammonites. Would you leave this or would you take it? Hi everyone, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. I've come out on an absolutely stunning day on the Yorkshire coast. It's t-shirt weather, the sun is out, so let's head on round and see if we can find anything good. I'm trying to make it past this sort of section here where the sea is coming right in. Hopefully I don't get wet. A little worn devil's toenail or gryphia fossilised oyster shell. Just waited five minutes, it should be easy enough to get round now without getting wet. I've just popped this rock open here and there's a load of like harposteruses I think possibly there'll be more inside Towards the end of the video I'm going to show you a really nice bone block that I've had prepared recently so definitely stick around to the end to see that one. One of the outer walls of a middle layer salmonite called a pleuroceros I'd love to find one of these complete a big one like this size they always seem to be broken up when I find them but look how lovely that is to see a massive chunk of fossilised wood which is eroding out of the floor here and there's ammonites and belemites washed up alongside it cool little thing to see while walking along the beach a very large dactyloceros wearing out of the shale bed I'd like to find one this size in a nodule though if you are interested in purchasing your own very special fossil from the Yorkshire coast please check out my website called biofossil.com I've listed a bunch of high quality ammonites and lots of fossil burn all for the taking so please go ahead and take a look if you are interested thanks a crusty old dactyloceros ammonite hopefully there's a few more where they came from I've just spotted a ammonite, which is underneath this piece of shale here. Let's go ahead and take it out and see if it's complete or not. Nice. Perfectly complete. A little bit of preparation work and it will reveal the fossil inside.
So this is one what someone's left. I've just nudged it and I've already seen what's on the other side. Would you leave this or would you take it? You can probably guess what I'll be doing with it. Can't believe someone's decided to leave that one behind. Yes, they've knocked a little bit off there, but it's perfect on that side. So I've just picked this nodule up here and the most common question I always get asked is how do I know that there's an ammonite on the inside? So with this one, there's a keel poking out just around the edge which can be seen on this side here. Hopefully you can spot that. That's the edge of the ammonite so it gives me the idea that there's more inside. I'd be taking that one back rather than giving it a tap on the beach because it could come out really well. Hi everyone, so I'm back up from the beach now. I'm going to show you a really nice ichthyosaur piece that I found a little while ago. I didn't expect it to be half as nice as it is. So here it is. I initially spotted it on a very remote section of the Yorkshire coast near Whitby. The piece itself was wet so the bone which has been wearing out of the side here was quite visible. I then sent it away to be professionally prepared and on the inside was this top quality little ichthyosaur bone scatter. Got a bunch of ichthyosaur vertebrae in. Really nice quality bone, some paddle digits, a rib and a piece of either jaw or part of the pelvis. A really nice piece. This one I'm going to be putting on my website so if anybody is interested in it it will be available to add to someone's fossil collection. It's, it's taken quite a lot of hours of prep but it's turned out to be an absolutely stunning and quality piece.